Hey guys, welcome back to Barry's Corner. It's Emily here, and today I'm going to be going book shopping. So if you guys have been following me, you guys would know that I have been very stressed due to my exams that are coming up. Today was my first exam, and my boyfriend texted me and was like, Hey, Emily, why don't I take you to Barnes & Noble's? And I was like, and Mr. Casey's bookstore? And he said yes. So I'm going book shopping today, and I haven't gone in a while because my mom says that I need to stop buying books, and I don't agree with that. So to please her and also please myself, I'm going to be exchanging books at the used bookstore. So hopefully that pleases her because I'm getting rid of a couple books. But before I show you those books and before I bring you along on the journey, uh, please subscribe, please comment down below and like this video. All of my social links are down in the description box below as well as my Amazon wish list if you would like to give me a book. Now let's get on into the video. So I have eight books that I want to trade in. The first one being Breathing Underwater by Alex Flynn. I got this from Goodwill a while ago and it's a super easy read and it's about teenagers and angst and I was like I can definitely get through this in a couple of hours but I kept putting it off and I'm just never going to read it. I know I'm never going to read it and I would rather have better books on my bookshelf. Next books are a part of a series which I feel like a lot of people are going to be confused about because it is a classic of booktube but it is The Ugly Series by Scott Westerfeld. This series I read the first two books and got halfway through the third and I was like yeah no. I don't know why they had four books in this series. I don't like it. I'm not I don't know why I'm like trudging through these books just to not like any of them. So I decided to give them away or trade them in. Um, so hopefully they allow me to do that. The next book is another book that I got from Goodwill and it is Hold Me Down by Melanie Thorne. Another teenage angst book that I was like, I'm totally gonna get to and then I never did and I'm never going to. Um, it seems easy to read, but I just prefer to have another book that I'm excited to read on my shelves. The second to last book is a book that I really struggled and had a whole debate in my mind whether I should give away or trade in. It is Shuffle Repeat by Jen Klein. This book, my all-time favorite in middle school. Like, oh my gosh, I love this book so much. But a year ago, I reread it and I was like, yeah, this doesn't hold up, but I'll, I'll read it again for nostalgia purposes. And guess what? Never read it again. And every single time I think of it, I'm, I, I have mixed emotions. And I'm truly never going to read it again. So I, it hurts me because this was like my life in middle school. But I want to give another person a chance to love this book as much as I did. Now the last book that I'm going to be showing you, it might look familiar if you watch my 24 hour reading vlog. Smash It by Francina Simone. I'm so disappointed in this book. It just did not mesh with me, did not vibe with me well. I gave it a two stars. I just did not enjoy it but the diversity was there and I appreciate that in some aspects and maybe in somebody's mind they'll like it and so I'm gonna trade it in for not something better but something I would prefer more. So those are all the books. I would show them but they're all a mess over there um, and yeah let's get into the book shopping. I'm not making fun of you, it's just cute. I promise. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna say it. If I laugh, I can't help it. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not, I promise. Babe! I promise I'm not making fun of you. It's just it's cute. I've never I've never been included in one of your videos before. So Babe. <laughs> So we secured the bag. We got I got three bucks. He didn't, didn't he didn't get any. No. He's, he's kinda broke. You're also not as much of a reader as I am. But we're working on it. 
So after I traded in my books, I got 14 something in store credit. So I got all of my books for free. So now we're gonna go to Barnes and Nobles and get more books and spend a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> but I also have a membership that doesn't do much. It takes 10% off. It really doesn't do anything, but it makes me better whenever I buy things. So let's go to Barnes and Nobles. secured the second bag of the day i got three more books it was only like 30 something dollars like that's that's a steal that's a i don't know why but with barnes and nobles like 30 dollars per i don't know it's, like it's a steal a book what do you mean your books are expensive oh yeah they're uh, yeah i thought you were saying that this is expensive i was like what you got three for the price of one in there yeah basically um but we also went to Starbucks. I got a strawberry refresher. What'd you get? I have no idea how to say I had it. to order it for him. Um, he got a white mocha caramel latte with I'm almond done. milk. It's so sweet. He drinks black coffee and it's super sweet. And then he also got a brownie. Show your brownie. And then, <laughs> and then they're selling soup now? I, I don't know, but I broccoli and cheddar soup. I got that. It's my favorite type of soup, by the way. Really and sweet. then, is it yeah. the brownie? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Everything at Starbucks is super sweet. But then, they had a Lucky Charm cookie. It is. I'm I excited. Don't know what to say about it. I'm excited. So. You gonna try it? Yeah. Do you want me to do it right now? Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's literally breaking in my hand. I can smell the Lucky Charms on it. It's not good, is it? No. It's not bad, it just tastes like a regular cookie. With Lucky Charms. You don't taste Lucky Charms. Oh, I can smell it. Anyways. It was a successful... I almost said Starbucks. Barnes & Noble's trip. And use bookstore trip and I will show you the haul when I get home. Hey guys, it is the next day. I did not update you guys last night because I was watching Shadow and Bone. Finish Shadow and Bone. We need the next season ASAP. Um, but before I show you all the books that I got, three books from Mr. K's and three books from Barnes and Nobles, I wanna say a thank you to my boyfriend for being in this vlog. He is an extrovert, he's very friendly, but on camera he's very shy and awkward and like he doesn't really know what to say. And so I guess it's like a little test run because I want him to be in more of my videos. So I don't know. I hope that you guys enjoyed him because I really liked him in this vlog, but let us get onto or into the books. The first book that I got is Royals by Rachel Hawkins. I remember nobody wanted to read this book until she changed the cover and then everybody was obsessed with it. This is the old cover and I, I think it's still the same story. So basically it's about a girl and her sister is engaged to the Prince of Scotland. And so all the tabloids are following her and she's just very not royal, not proper. So this guy named Miles is supposed to teach her how to be proper. And then I think it's like a love triangle between her and Miles and then also a younger prince of Scotland. I don't know. I heard that it's a good time. I heard that it's cute and a lot of people enjoy it. And so when I saw it, I was like, for sure. Now this next book I am extremely excited for. You have no idea. It is The Afterlife of Holly Chase by Cynthia Hand. Oh my gosh, this has been on my mental TBR for years now, and my cousin actually got it for me a couple Christmases ago, but I moved from Miami to South Carolina, and she's still in Miami, and she just didn't want to pay for shipping, 
And so she still has it. And I saw it and I was like, yeah, no, it's $3. Although I got it for free since I traded in books, but it was $3. And I was like, this is the time. This is a sign. I have to get it. And so this is basically a Christmas Carol retelling. And it basically follows this girl named Holly Chase. And the ghost of past, present, and future came to her because she's like a little Scrooge. And they're like, here's your second chance. Go be happy, be healthy, whatever. And then she's still grumpy. See, she's still a Scrooge after the whole experience. So she dies and becomes a ghost. And she becomes part of the program and she helps another Scrooge, if that makes sense. So I'm really excited. I have heard nonstop good things about this book, especially from Emma Books, who raves about this book every single Christmas time. And it's, I had to have it. And now it's on, it's like really high on my TBR list. Now the last book that I got from the used bookstore is Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. I do not know much about this book. I do know it's about teenagers and there's a mystery that they're trying to solve. I also heard, I think that it has OCD rep or anxiety rep in this and I've just heard nothing but great things. Of course the hype has died down a little bit since this was published a long time ago but I'm really really interested in this book and I never had the right moment to buy it and so this was the moment. It was $5.00 again got it for free since I traded in books but it looks really really good and I'm so excited to read it. Getting into the Barnes and Nobles books I am so freaking excited to share these with you. The first one is Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia. This book since the beginning of booktube this has been one of the books that I've been wanting forever. That's four years from now. Um, I remember I never bought this book because it was just so expensive and I found it in Barnes and Nobles for $10. I think I just stopped searching because every single time I would search for it, it was so expensive. But I am so freaking happy. I don't remember fully what this is about. I think it's about this girl and she writes webcomics. And it's a very, very popular webcomic. And then this guy creates fan fiction for that webcomic. And they're in the same class and they become friends. But then she finds out that he creates these webcomics. I mean, the fan fiction. And she's like, oh, I can't tell him that I'm the author or something. I have no idea. Um, but I heard that there's a really good anxiety rep in here, so hopefully I really, really enjoy it. This book has been on my mental TBR for years now, so I'm very, very excited to get to it. The second to last book that I got was A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. I remember seeing this on shelves a while ago and nobody really talking about it, and recently everybody's been talking about it. It's been getting all the hype and everybody says that they absolutely love this book. So I got it. Um, it was only $10.99 and I was just like, okay, we're gonna do it. I've heard so many good things. I have no idea what it's about. I believe it's about like these seniors and this person was killed and then five years later this girl was like, yeah, this doesn't seem right. I'm gonna investigate on my own. Like every freaking murder mystery goes. Um, but I heard again that this one was really good and so I'm really, really excited to get to it, especially since I've been wanting to get into mysteries and thrillers more this year. Now the last book I am so freaking excited to get to. It is Second First Impressions by Sally Thorne. If you do not know who Sally Thorne is, how could you not? She is the author of The Hating Game and 99% Mine and The Hating Game. Oh my gosh, it is one of my favorite books of all time. I love it so much and this is her new book that she just put out. It is basically about this girl named Ruthie, which is my aunt's name, so kind of cute. Um, and she works at a retirement villa and then the villa gets a new owner and then they spark up a little romance. I am reading this immediately. I cannot believe I just I can't I just I'm so excited you just have no idea now these were all the books that I got yesterday I am so happy with my purchase I think all of these are books that I am really excited to get to and I cannot wait to get to and aside from that I really really hope that you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe comment down below do whatever you want to do and goodbye